Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I want to talk to you about how to deal with data that's not in the format that you need it in, uh, specifically dealing with where you have uh, multiple columns of values and you need to turn that into a single column of values in multiple rows, or the other way around where you've got uh, a single column of values in multiple rows and you need uh, multiple columns and uh, more flattened in single rows per individual line item. We can do that using the pivot and unpivot tiles in Magic ETL. And uh, it's not too much work. It's actually pretty easy to do. So I'll get go ahead and start showing you how to do that. So let's get started. So you see here, we, this is sample data that we've got um, some uh, individual uh, in, identifiers that make up a row and then some multiple columns uh, with different values. And maybe we need this into a, a single column of values and specified what type they are. Well, we can do that a couple different ways. First way would be not to use the pivot tile. You could use multiple group by uh, statements and append them all together. For instance, you've got your uh, things that make up a row and then you can take uh, one of the value columns, in this case, gross premium, assign it um, a column name called premium, sum that up, then do that for the next value, then in this case, seated premium, give it the same column name, premium, and do that for the third one. Then you would assign a constant to that, give it a column name, let's in this case, premium type, and let's just always set the value to be gross and this one seated, and this one net. And then you would append that all together and you'd get essentially what you um, what you want with your values and then the different uh, types indicated in here. Well, you can do that even easier with the uh, pivot tiles. We go over here, we can uh, look at how you can do that. And you see it's a lot shorter uh, using this unpivot tile. So in this case, so there's our sample data that we were showing earlier. We want to unpivot that. And we're gonna uh, start by labeling um, a column, given our uh, column called type. And then what we wanna call our, the column for our values. So in this case, we're gonna say premium. Then it's saying, hey, which columns do you want to collapse? And so then these three that we want to collapse and what do we want to name each of those in the type um, when that get, does collapse. So the, this um, labels will be in the type column and then the values we're gonna be in the premium column. So that's all you do. And then once you do that, you see this now pivoted, we have a type column and we have a premium column. And what that lets you do is uh, do something like this, where we've got a, a flex table in this example. We've got our premium here in the y-axis. Then we've got our type column in the series. So that shows up here. And then here we're just showing the last two years and that allows us to do a visualization like this, which is pretty handy. Uh, another option uh, that you have is the dynamic unpivot. So you see in the pivot section, you have unpivot and then you have dynamic unpivot. Uh, just differs slightly. This is probably helpful for if you have a lot of uh, columns that don't want to go individually name at um, each of those that we were doing in the, pit, the unpivot. So here in the first step, you're going to just pick out what uh, identifies a unique row. In this case, we've got state, line of business, and year. And then Hey, name the columns that will hold the pivoted column name. So we're going to put our type name, uh, giving that column name of type. And then what do we want to name the column that's going to hold the uh, values? In this case, we want to call it uh, premium. So it's just going to automatically take uh, what's in everything else, in all those columns that aren't these three, and pivot them. And you see we get uh, initially a type of gross premium, C to premium, get those column names that were here listed. You saw in our preview that those were our column names. They now become uh, what's in the type column. And then we get the values associated with those in the premium column. Now, just for a little cleanup, because I don't want uh, gross premium, C to premium to be my type necessarily. 
I can just do a simple replace in the formula tile and remove the word premium using the replace function out of the type. So then we get something a little cleaner here. So then that just looks exactly like what we had with the unpivot tile and can still use the, the flex table in this instance. So that's a walkthrough of how you use that unpivot tile. It's uh, really straightforward, uh, really clean. It uh, doesn't take a lot of uh, work as you saw we do compared to the group by tile. What if you have data going the other way? So if we had uh, what essentially results in our uh, unpivot work that we just did, maybe we want that back out um, to multiple columns. Maybe we want a seated premium column and a gross premium column and a net premium column. Well, we can use the pivot tile for that to get that reversed out. So maybe your data is coming in this way and you need it pivoted out. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, say, hey, what is the uh, column that has the labels that, that, that you want? So again, we're going to be looking at that type column, say these are the labels that we want. And what are uh, the things that identify our rows? So similar to what we were doing in the dynamic unpivot, we're going to identify those things. So the state, line of business, and year. And then here, we're going to say, hey, what do you want to call those columns? So here, we're kind of like the unpivot, going to have to manually create what those are. So we're going to say gross premium is going to be our column. It's going to say, hey, what do you what do you look for in that type column to identify uh, that you want to grab something out of? And we're going to look, look for the word gross. And then we're going to take what's in that premium value column uh, to get that uh, put in there. And then seated premium column, we're going to look for the word seated. And we're going to take that value and store that in the seated premium column. And then same with net. So once we do that, then we've got then those things created. Now we've got gross premium, seated premium, net premium, and we've got all of those values in there for each of those unique rows. And kind of common visualization you do with that would be something like a line bar chart where you've got um, maybe your gross premium here in the y-axis, and then you're doing those other column totals and summing those up so you can have a, a stacked bar with a line and um, have those all together. So there's use cases where you need to pivot and unpivot. Um, don't have to be stuck with what the way is coming in uh, because different chart types will allow you uh, to do different things based on how you have the data structured and you're not always going to be presenting something in a table format. So using these pivot and unpivots allow you to uh, put that data in a restructured way and give you more flexibility to use uh, some of the different chart types that are available in, in Domo. Hope you found this helpful. Again, as always, uh, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Thanks a lot.